Hey guys. Okay, um, this is a uh, dream space for my ET contacts. And it, it's, it explains either the ETs or something else trying to get me. Okay. So I have the ET contacts. The eye in the sky. Okay. It's coming in the dream. This is a symbolic representation of the ET's spirit hooking up to mine in the spaceship in physical but his spirit is hooking up to me represented as a big eye in the sky okay this is not the dream by the way <laughs> this is just a uh, getting you caught up so and then the ET will come right up to my face sometimes he would just do a flyby and check, check me out he wouldn't come down in spirit and look at me he'd just hook up he'd fly over my house well in outer space he'd fly over hook up to me and um, look at me, check me out. So those two things happened. But I was having a series of dreams, okay? And I lived in the basement of my house. And this is the dream. I'm laying in bed and I wake up in the dream. And I'm having the dream. This is the dream. I wake up in the dream. And I can feel the ETs coming, hooking up, they're coming at me. And so I run upstairs, I was sleeping in the basement, I run upstairs and I go to the window. I go to the window and I'm looking for the UFO. And all of a sudden I hear something running across the roof. And it's running across the roof and then it turns around and runs back. <coughs> the window's open. It's running towards the window. And all of a sudden, a long hand comes in, in the window, and goes, tries grabbing me, right? But I don't see what it is. It's just a long, skinny hand with claws. Okay, it's, it's trying to get at me. And I'm like, ah, I slam the window down. And then it runs to the next window. And, the, and then usually I wake up at this point, but it's a recurring dream. And in the recurring dream, the same thing happens over and over and over. And I got like 20 windows in the house, upstairs and downstairs windows, that I have to close. And every time I got a window closed, I woke up. So it was like 20 dreams, right? Jesus Christ, it's crazy. So, I, uh, I'm going to skip all the windows because basically it's the same thing. So, finally, in the last dream, after about three, four years of this dream, I'm upstairs, I got all the windows closed, and I run to the next window, and I hear, T -t 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 -t, and he's running to the next window, and I close it, and he's, he grabs a glass, he's scratching at the glass, whatever this thing is, okay? But I'm feeling the ETs every time I have this dream. Then I run downstairs, and I go to the window in my bedroom, and he's uh, he comes running across the roof, jumps down on the ground, and then he's trying to get in the window, and I can see him. I see him. And he's got an alien face, all wrinkles, but he's got dreads. And he, he's got dreadlocks, like dreads. And... Uh, He's got hair sticking out like a gargoyle, like a like a gargoyle monster off of. And immediately I remembered there's a movie on the Twilight Zone where there's a gargoyle on the wing of the jet, and it's raining and they're in a storm. He's he's looking out the window of the jet, and there's a gremlin, and he's got a hammer or a rock or something, and he's smashing the engine of the jet and no one else can see it and this guy's going nuts and all of a sudden the fucking engine blows up and the planes are so it's got three engines now and then later on he sees it and he's the gargoyles out on the wing of the plane and he's looking at him laughing like you know i'm gonna fucking die and he's like Arr! and it looks just this thing that's trying to get in my house in the dream looks just like this gargoyle from the twilight zone movie where he's smashing the engine of the jet. If you ever seen it, you'll know. So he looks just like this. 
more or less. But it's got an alien face and some dreads and hairy back and just nasty looking. And then I run to the next window downstairs and he runs across the lawn. He tries to get in and I go slam. And then I run to the next one, slam. And I run and he's running. And I'm fucking panicking. My heart is like, it's really, really bad. Like a panic, heart attack. And finally, it's the last window. And he runs in and he sticks his hands in to get me and I slam the window on his hands. And then he, he gets mad and I finally won. And all of a sudden, boom, I'm floating out above my house. I'm floating, I won, I beat him. I'm floating above my house. And this thing runs up the wall, gets on top of the of the roof, and it's running around the roof, screaming, go, ah, it's just ripping up the tiles. It's just ripping up the tiles of the roof, and there's tiles flying, and this thing's running around, flipping out, just like insanity. Just fucking screaming, ripping the tiles on the roof, trying to get in. Just screaming, yelling, just twisting, freaking out, and there's dreads flying everywhere. And I'm like, holy fuck, and my heart is pounding. And then I wake up. So what did that represent? Okay. My fear. Okay. Now the house is my body. Okay. So in the dream, the house is my body. But the house is a physical representation of what's going on with the eye. Whenever I feel the eye staring at me, I think, I think the psychology in me goes right to the guy's face and he's coming. The psychology my, to my bad experiences where the ETs right in my face, okay? Whenever I feel the ET, the first thing I think of is an alien staring in my face and I'm fighting them till I pass out. In the dream world, I'm fighting, I'm fighting to keep him out of the house. So whenever he does a drive by and I hook up to him, I can feel the big eye coming at me. And immediately, I want to close up, close the window. Physically, I freak out. I'm spiritual. I'm like, holy fuck, I'm scared, right? I'm laying in my bed. I can feel the ET. I close up. I close the window in the dream space. I got to close all my chakras. All my chakras. All the windows of the house. Finally, I get to the point where all my chakras are closed. He can't, it, he can't get into me. Spiritually, I'm blocking him. And... I finally get all my chakras closed. I didn't know this at the time. I didn't know this in the dream, but this is what it means. I get all the chakras closed and it pisses off the alien. So he's gonna come down and break me again, face to face, to where I freak out so bad in a panic attack, staring at him, he just breaks my ego and I pass out. Now he can come in, okay, and talk to my spirit which is what he wanted to do all the time. But this reoccurring dream is just, it's just a dream, right? You think it's just a fucking dream, but it explains the whole house, the body and the chakras. But you don't know it at the time until 30 years later, you figure it all out. And it's very important because people are having reoccurring dreams and reoccurring dreams is something you're dealing with. And me was my fear of the ET when he comes and he's staring in my face, and I'm blocking him, and I pass out. Okay, that means I totally blocked him. That recurring dream was me blocking all my chakras, pushing him away with my will to go away, but he won't, and he always wins. But this time, I won, and it pissed him off. The ET, okay? But it doesn't mean nothing to him, but it was huge for me. This is the psychology. This is the psychology in dreams. The, the psychology of the fear of the unknown of an ET coming at you in the middle of the night. This reoccurring dream happened for like five years. Okay. This is the whole process of ET contacts. Okay. And there's a lot more dreams coming too. Um, I have dreams where I'm in my house and the ET. Here's another here's another reoccurring dream. This one happened a bunch of times. I blocked it off. Okay. This next reoccurring dream is after I blocked him off. So he can't come down every single night to talk to me, right? 
So I'm in the basement playing hockey, playing, screwing around, and uh, I'm a little kid, as always, and, you know, 16, 17, you know, kid, teenager, from when I was a little kid to a teenager, and all of a sudden, I can feel the ET coming. Uh, I'm getting panicky. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. And um, all of a sudden, arrows come through my house. Bow and arrows come through my house. And they go, and they stick into the floor around me. And some of them get, shoot me in the foot. Okay. And I'm like, what the fuck? Right? And I'm looking at all the arrows. And they're all stuck in the cement of the basement where I'm playing hockey and each one of these arrows has a little tag on the end like a flag so I grab the arrow and I'm looking at it and the flag on the little flag and there's Sanskrit writing what looks like Sanskrit writing like ancient writing like you know <clears throat> I don't know and I look at it and I know what it says but I don't know I, I don't even feel it Usually I can feel what it says, but this time I don't feel it. And I don't understand why I don't feel it. Because I feel all this stuff. And I don't even know what the hell this means, right? In the dream. And I wake up from the dream, and I realize, after this happens so many times, that the arrows, and now that I'm 50 years old and I understand everything, here's what it meant. The E.T. is flying over the house, far off into space, flying over my house. He spiritually hooks up to my spirit and gives me a message. Okay? That message, he tunes into me, he tunes into my heart, my inner light, and sends me a message. An arrow psh, sticks into the cement, solid earth to the flesh. But I'm so fucking afraid, and I got all my chakras closed. I don't feel it. I don't. I feel him, but I don't feel the message. And that's it. Fuck it. All right. So all I got is some words written in some strange language, and I can't even read it because it's a strange language. But it's saying something, and it means something to me because one of them, one of these fucking arrows is stuck in my foot and in my back. And I'm pulling them out, and I'm reading. I'm looking at them, and they're all the same Sanskrit writing, and they're important things, but I don't know what it is. And that's pissing me off. Do you get it? That's how you talk to ETs. I was blocking it from the closed chakras, so he couldn't talk to me. His spirit, he couldn't talk to my spirit. He can't. I can't understand a goddamn thing up here. I'm just running around going crazy in fear. And the dreams are telling me what's taking place. He's sending me messages on arrows. But what the arrow represents is his spirit talking to me. He tunes into me, sends me a message. And now, if I was open and I had no fear and I knew what the fuck the bigger picture was, spiritually, in my own heart. I don't even know my own heart at this point. I don't even know my own soul, my own, my own spirit. Not soul, spirit. I don't even know my own spirit. <clears throat> What's taking place between the alien and this. But, if I was open and my spirit could talk and I was one with my spirit, i feel the alien and the alien go, come on outside, I want to show you my UFO. Okay, don't forget your camera. How's it going, Rich? How's school? We know you're having a hard time at school. That was a pretty good fight you got into. Yeah, it kind of sucked, but I'm okay. But I couldn't talk. Because I was blocking it. And I didn't know my own spirit. Now, why didn't I own my own spirit? Who comes to you when you're born and you're old enough to speak and you come up to your mom and you go, Mom, what's God? She goes, your spirit. Don't talk to anything else in the whole world. Just talk to your spirit. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your feeling. And you go, oh, okay. And now you know. And you can live your life. One with God. 
But no, you get the Pope. You get lies. You go to church, false religion, ideologies, bullshit. And you're conditioned in bullshit. So you never know. What it comes down is the ETs were cracking me out of that. Out of the box, out of the matrix. The box of my head to the box of the world and the lies within. And they were teaching me this. And this is another dream that explained that. So here you go. That's how it is. That's what it is, the ET contact. Not just the ET staring in your face and you're scared, thinking you're going to get it up the butt. All right? There's a hell of a lot more to it. Which I wish more abductees and more spiritual people and more people that have these contacts could explain it. Their dreams. Why don't they? Hmm. Hmm. Why don't they? Why don't they explain this whole spiritual process? Because ninety percent of it is a spiritual process, other than a UFO in the sky they see. Whoopee. A UFO, a car. How about the spiritual part? How about this part? How about the part where everybody has these contacts and they're explaining it? How about the spiritual part? Oh, the spiritual part they turn into the physical part. I was abducted. Yeah. Christ threw you up there and was taking uh, essence from you. It goes on and on. I ain't getting into it. Watch my other video. But this is, this is what takes place. And it drives me nuts. So that's why I'm doing this. ET contact spirit spiritual part of it of my, my ET contacts and the best detail as I can every stupid little dream every little thing everything because it's all part of it your own evolution of your spirit and your own evolution of killing your the lies in your brain your programming to see the bigger picture in the illusion reality Reality is just an illusion.